Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all doing great. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at reasons to get the Ryzen 5 3600. Now, the bottom line is, this is what the best CPU you can get for budget gaming PC right now, since there isn't any other CPU that's worth getting uh, for the same price in my opinion. But before we get into it, if you like that video, press on that like button. If you want to see more videos of that kind, subscribe and let's get to it. So the obvious reasons why you shouldn't get this CPU. The first one is um, maybe the next gen i5 CPUs from Intel will be pretty good. Also, the fifth gen Ryzen CPUs, the budget ones might deliver. But this is we haven't seen any leaks. We haven't seen any news from them. So it's going to be it's going to take some time for them to drop. Also, like, yeah, this is one of the biggest reasons. And the second biggest reason is the the price itself is for around 200 bucks. It used to go for as cheap as $160. So that gives you an idea of how uh, PC ports have gone up in price. And yeah, these are the two obvious reasons. So this is not a, a PC for high-end gaming. This is not a CPU for high-end gaming. But this is a CPU for budget to mid-end gaming that gives you like one of the best performances when it comes to budget game but hey the thing is it's a budget cpu like that delivers really good performance but not at like a very budget friendly price when you compare it to a cpu for example like an i5 10 600k it used to go for like 230 bucks but the thing is yeah it goes for 230 bucks but then you need like 150 dollars z490 board it goes for that price it can go for cheaper but hey and on top of that you need a really good cooler while well, that one comes with the cooler you know and everything ready to go so these are the reasons why you shouldn't let's get to the reasons why you should so the first obvious reason is the only cpu you can get on the market right now if there was something like a ryzen 3 3100 i would recommend you to get it but it goes for around 180 bucks um it, so yeah i don't think it's worth getting right now hey if this cpu the ryzen 3 3100 uh, is in stock i guess it's really good buy if you get it for around like 100 dollars but hey there's also the i5 10 400 in stock for and it delivers the same performance if not better again it doesn't have that great upgrade path you don't know how the intel 11th gen cpu will be so yeah there's that so being the only cpu in stock right now which is a six cores 12 threaded cpu for 200 bucks it's not the best deals but at least it's something that can deliver good performance when you need and speaking of performance it doesn't mean uh, not by saying you know it's a budget cpu at a premium price that means that it's not good at gaming it's one of the best gaming cpus right now you can play games of 144p and you'll not notice any bottlenecking there is a video uh, i'll link it here or maybe down in the description on hardware unboxed where he tested the ryzen 5 3600 and i5 10 400 and compared it to the ryzen 5 3600 x compared these uh, cpus uh, with the RTX 3060 Ti on GPU intensive games and the results on 1440p ultra settings were not that far away so it actually delivers good performance but again as I told you it doesn't deliver the best performance not a performance like a 5th gen Ryzen CPU would deliver uh, nor the next gen 11th gen i5s but hey, the old, the other reason why you should get this CPU over uh, Intel CPUs is that Intel CPUs seems to be not the best CPUs to think of getting right now because the next gen 11900K is only an 8 core CPU. So that means even if you went for the 11th gen CPUs, you'll have some time, you know, some bad time struggling to upgrade. So some of you are, are like, yeah, this is a $200 CPU. Uh, why would you compare it? Why wouldn't you compare it to something like an i5 10 400? It's a $150 CPU, and that's a good question. The thing is, it's a 150 bucks CPU, but what do you actually need to spend in order to get it? You know, uh, to get a good upgrade path, you need this uh, CPU and allegedly like an H470 board or a Z490 board. So paying 150 bucks on the CPU and one, another 150 bucks on a decent, not so decent Z490 boards. You know how Z490 boards are. This like 150 bucks is a budget price for the Z490 boards. So you're paying 300 bucks while if you went with AMD, you'd pay $200 on the CPU, maybe get a B450 MD F3H or maybe a B550 MD F3H or even an A520M, which I can recommend. 
and you're paying for somewhere from 250 to 300 dollars but you're getting a clear upgrade path can upgrade all the way up to like a 59 50x even which is a 16 cores 36 threaded cpu and it's not that far away in terms of ipc when compared to the 11th gen cpus the fifth and last reason it's the only cpu in stock right now that's reasonable to get even though it's for 200 bucks now would i recommend you to spend 200 dollars on it well if you are going to get a budget pc then yes it's a good buy it, it's six cores 12 thread cpu it will not bottle like a gpu like a gdx 1660 super but if you go on something like an rtx 3070 or rtx 3060 I guess you should go for a Ryzen 5 5600X. It's actually in stock right now for 380 bucks. Now, the, the other debate is would you pay 380 bucks on a Ryzen 5 5600X or would you go for like a 10700K, for example, and get an extra uh, 8 cores and 16 threads? So, this is a debate for another day that I actually could, like, I can't find an answer to. But also, if you find the Ryzen 3 3100 in stock for around 100 bucks, it's the best CPU in my opinion. A great budget CPU. It gives you a really good upgrade path. It's a pretty good buy overall. I have one myself. I was never a fan of it first, but since it's, you know, like the fifth gen Intel, the fifth gen uh, Ryzen CPUs are so hard to get and there isn't any pc part you can get right now like you rarely could find a good pc part in stock like there is no gpus on amazon uh, nothing uh, in general so yeah it makes it a good buy and that's that if you like the video press that like button if you got any questions uh, let me know down in the description what do you think do you think the ryzen 5 3600 is a good buy uh, like i myself got an i3 uh, 10100 uh, with hopes that the 11th gen intel cpus would be something but uh, clearly they will not be hopefully they will like yeah but yeah we'll see and uh let me know what do you think down in the comments below thank you for watching and peace